In today's episode we would like to tell you about this extremely popular type of machine taper and that is about Morse taper. In this episode you will learn what are Morse taper's applications, how to determine its size and with which tools it is used. Paper is used mainly in spindles or drill presses and in lathe tailstocks. Tools with Morse paper can also be used in other machines with the use of special adapters and tool holders. Morse paper was invented in the mid 60s of the 19th century by Stephen Morse. This type of machine paper is available in eight sizes marked with indicative numbers from 0 to 7. You can find them under the abbreviation of MT, which is English for Morse taper, or MK, which is German for Morse Connes or Morse Kegel. For example, Morse taper with size 4 will be marked as MT4 or MK4. In order to identify Morse paper size, the easiest way is to measure its diameter within a few millimeters of the maximum diameter. Compare your results with the values given in a table with Morse paper sizes. You can use our app, which will help you to determine taper size. You will find a link to this app in this episode's description. Most tapers are of self-holding variety and can have three types of ends. One with tang, according to standard DIN 228B, which can be removed with a drift. One with a thread, according to standard DIN 228A, which is mounted with a dropper, and flat, without a tang or a thread. As an interesting type of Morse taper, we can show you one with the tang screwed directly into a thread of a DIN 228A Morse taper. Morse taper can be found in a variety of tools, tool holders and adapters. We will be discuss some of such groups. Group 1 are drill sleeves and sockets. They can be used either as an extension or as a reduction. Both internal and external shank are Morse tapers. In designations of sleeves and sockets, it is typical to describe first the external paper and second the internal paper. For example, designation MK4 on MK3 means that the external paper, one which is going to be mounted in the machine spindle, is size 4 Morse paper, and the paper of the tool mounted in the sleeve uh, or the socket is size 3 Morse paper. Second group comprises of tools used in lathe tail stocks such as light sensors, both light and dead, as well as a quick change tail stock turrets. In the third group, you'll find different types of cutting tools with Morse taper shank, for example, twist drill bits, machine rimmers, counter sinks, counter balls, and end mills. It is important to note at this moment that Morse taper sizes are closely related to a particular diameter of a cutting tool. This relation is specified by a technical standard according to which a particular tool was manufactured. Therefore, for example, this drill bit with a diameter of 18 mm is only available with size 2 Morse taper shank. Another type of tools using Morse taper shank are taper adapters. Here we have an example of an adapter with external cylindrical shank and internal Morse taper shank. This is 5C2 Morse, where the external shank is 5C colored and the internal is Morse taper. This is a VDI adapter used in CNC lathes, and again the inside taper is Morse taper. It is important to notice that tool holding adapters with internal Morse taper, they vary in kind depending on the type of Morse taper which can end either in tang or in thread. Here is an example of a taper adapter using inter with internal Morse taper with tang. And this is a taper adapter which is designated for Morse taper tools with thread. The fifth group comprises of ER collet chucks and welded type tool holders. In ER collet chucks, a tool is held inside by a collet, for example an ER collet. In welding type tool holders, the tool is held inside by a hex screw which is tightened. Here is an example of a welding type tool holder with one screw and this with two tightening screws. In our last sixth group, you will find different types of arbors and mill holders. This is a drill check arbor used for mounting drill checks. It is important to remember that drill checks mount taper needs to be identical to arbor's taper. 
is a Schumann folder. It is universal as it can be used for mounting milling cutters with both, tra both transverse and longitudinal groove, as well as end mills and shell mills with indexable inserts. This is a milling machine arbor and our last tool, a shell reamer arbor. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are interested in any of our products, find us at toolsmatch.com.